Okay, uh, yeah, me again. Um, I'm gonna keep uh, programming a little bit more that little game that I was working on uh, last few uh, evenings, last few sessions. Um, yeah, see if I can get keep, keep that going. Try to pop up the chat here, put something in there. Yeah, um, so last night the uh, audio was a little noisy with the music, so uh, it won't be that way tonight, I hope. Um, I'm going to uh, continue the game and um, yeah, see, see how far I get this time around. Um, the game is in good shape, but when I played it and entered in some bad values, um, Oh, I gotta show you guys this, but that'll be some other time. Um, let me just make sure. Developer. Yeah. Okay. Um, pro, not the Python projects, but the Swift project three. So if I play the game, um, I print out the correct number. It's eighty-seven. Um, but if I put in. Um, a guess, and I noticed I don't get prompted either, so I gotta fix that. But if I put in hello, um, I get this uh, fatal error unexpectedly found nil um, while unwrapping an optional value. Illegal instruction number four. Now I'm not gonna unpack this whole thing, <laughs> that'd be that'd be crazy, um, but I do wanna try to understand the uh, the how, how we can prevent that error um, line 13 if we go to it here I'll uh, just put the I don't know if you guys can see the microphone but um, again I'm using a slightly newer setup So program's tight. Oh, the other thing I'm going to try to do is put it up on GitHub so people can mess around with this. And um, yeah, again, learning Swift, the uh, I wouldn't say this is the hard way, but it's certainly the long way. Um, but yeah, line 13, it's complaining about here. So when clearly when you put in hello, um, Let's put that into the uh, REPL. Um, we learned that yesterday. You know what? I don't have to put REPL. <laughs> I think it just drops into the REPL if I just put in that. Um, I put in, oh, and just a quick reminder, I'm a massive fan of Tmux, so that's what's happening here. And there's a multiple windows where I'm doing the terminal typing. Um, don't worry, I think if I get further along in this uh, series where I program in Swift, I'll probably try to um, do a thing where I fire up Xcode. Um, but this is a, a late 2013 MacBook Pro and it's pretty uh, yeah, it, it, it can be, uh, it can e it's easily overwhelmed, <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, oh yeah, I want to mention the, the music. Um, find the music here. I've been finding stuff off of this thing. Um, Yeah, this is the music today, uh, Lobo Loco, and it's right now morning hours before sunrise, um, this thing here, so, um, so good stuff, good stuff. Um, yeah, so, um, We got the integer converting a 
we, we've got a string that's being converted into an integer, but if the string is not a bunch of numbers, then there's an error. And um, I just want to reproduce that here. Boy, I don't think that's going to work. Oh, wait, it did work. Yeah, I think it says nil. Um, let me do let a equal hello. If I do a, a if I do int, that's what I'm doing right here. A, yeah, so is that telling me that it's returning a, a nil? I think it is. So it's possible. You know what? I don't think I need that exclamation point. I think that's what it's having a problem with. So let me um, compile this. Um, am I in the right directory? No. Okay. type int must be unwrapped to a value of int coalesce using question question to provide a default when the value contains nil force unwrap with uh, okay I see oh I think if I'm reading this right um, if I'm reading this right this means that I can um, do this guy question question to provide a default um, which is what I think I'm going to do but force unwrap using bang to abort the execution I cannot um, must be unwrapped to a value I guess I can't just leave it unadorned like that which um, kind of is a bummer um, let me just do force unwrap so again I'm learning it the Normally, I would probably just, I don't know, read a Swift book or something. And, and th there's plenty of documentation um, here. Um, I'm going to, in fact, get the language guide fired up. Um, but I also found that there's a Swift uh, forums. I just made an account. And, um, oh, wow, some new updated topics. Okay, but here I can also do uh, a search. Um, so I'm going to try to, again, confine myself to these uh, limited resources. Um, and same thing here. I'm, I've been post looking for things here in the uh, developer forums. Anyway, that's what I'm going to uh, uh, try to try to work out. And uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, what can I do here? I can't do anything. Nope. Uh, So, right, so I'm going to try to do this coalesce business, and um, I mean, to search this whole thing, it'd be cool if they offered it, but you can, you can always go to Google and do, um, um, go right to Google. And just get the URL here, docs.swift.org. And I'll just do um, co, uh, co uh, less And then I think it's site dot Results will be from this one web page and uh, coalesce. So here's some basic operators, and that's what I gotta find. It's, it's up here. Basic operators. It's, it's like page two. Um, 
course it's a pretty big page but uh but now i'm just going to search right on here uh co uh, less okay okay nil coalescing operator unwraps an optional a if it contains a value or returns a default value b if a is nil the nil coalescing operator is shorthand for this code okay so we can do oh so it's like this okay so to do that basically the user doesn't get a guess um, try that out compile this thing and then uh, we'll run it yeah now okay so 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 that worked <laughs> um, I wonder if I can put in uh, 98 yeah now here's here's where I'm gonna um, I guess potentially have fun or fun if if you can consider randomly working on a program fun it, in, um, in in grade school I think in the uh, yeah in grade school or in high school I saw the movie War Games uh, Matthew Broderick and he he would get these prompts and he would put in like uh, um, back door or uh, um, a, a secret or something and it would always uh, it, it it let him into like <laughs> I don't know like the Pentagon's missile command launch center or something it not it, I didn't see it as being realistic even at the time but I remember thinking that's cool that if you knew who the programmer was, that you could potentially come up with a with a backdoor, um, and and so when I was writing programs back then, I I would put in these inputs, and this is the kind of programming we did these these basic little games, and uh, I would always I put in something like negative ninety nine, um, uh, I think ninety nine was for Wayne Gretzky, at least for me it was and. I um, would <laughs> would then make the computer do something a little different and um, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do here because uh, right now we just tell the correct number um, but instead let's, um, we'll, we'll instead uh, be be smart um, um, and print out the number uh, only if you put in the negative 99 um, so how how that logic would work is uh um is you gotta do it early on <laughs> um yeah you do gotta do it early on i, I kind of want to do it right in here um if it's the correct number you got it else if num equal negative 99 let's pop this in here to guess and I won't this won't be needed um, and uh, I think instead of doing that we'll put in uh, yeah we'll, we'll put in another message here um, it's between 0 and 100 so you see you, this is this is all programming is this is it this is it um, syntax error I think if I had the IDE going it would be um, 
I would have caught that. And yeah, so now, Rick, guess my number. Uh, 48. It's lower. Guess again. The number is 1. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yeah. Now, the other thing is, I was thinking about this too. Um, it's always prompting you that it's lower and um, to add competitiveness to the game you can um, um, do um, you can um, count how many times you've guessed um, you, you could say you got it after X guesses so I am going to um, implement that um, use another variable here guess count and uh, we're gonna count all the I think this is gonna work let's see if that works um, hopefully there's a plus plus going on in here like most like C We're gonna. We're just gonna let the com, com, uh, computer tell us if it's possible. <laughs> um, we'll keep going here, um, but I don't want to uh, count the guess if. Um, yeah, if 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 you do this thing, that shouldn't count. Guess count minus minus. Um, but here you got it. Other languages, it, it, let's just look up print. Maybe, maybe I can um, do, uh, print. I don't want to lose the thread of what I'm doing here. Um, um, expressions, print, functions, by. Strings and characters, control and flow. I can uh, ask the uh, REPL uh, print. Yeah, a um, bunch of options here. And one of the things that's bothered me about this is I would like to know, I I'd like to like select one of these and then um, like print string. I would like that. Um, basically get more information um, and here it's it's saying these are options for the string hello um, uh, is, is it, is it going to help me with this um, I'm, I'm how I'm getting these options is I'm pressing uh, tab um, and uh, yeah so but I can also do it where I do this um, yeah, that's that did not work um, the way I thought it would. I can do print, maybe like 
something like, oh, wait a minute, I think I remember this now. Oh, boy, I think this is in the very, in the learning guide. When I was learning this, um, not too much more, I, sorry, I'm kind of wasting time here, but I'm going to, welcome to Swift, I think it was here, Swift Tour. Simpler way to include values in string is write the value in parentheses and a backslash before the parentheses. Although here it's actually before only the left paren. Okay, so um, I mean, I think one of the <laughs> as you develop your programming skills, this will be all stuff you'll have memorized. Um, but as I was saying in my uh, Recording yesterday, I, I've learned a good number of computer languages, um, probably like maybe six, maybe maybe eight, maybe maybe close to ten in different ones. Um, um, and how you get output is uh, different in every one. Six to ten. Let's let's say I think it was a. Uh, if I know, um, it was. Uh, let's let's do this. It, it, it's uh, it's basic, like Pascal and C. That was grade school, high school, and college. Then afterwards, I learned Perl. Um, Happiest I've ever been learning Perl, and then um, um, and then it was Java. Um, I, I want to put down C++ here, but really, honestly, didn't happen. Um, uh, I mean, I've used C++ compilers, um, but never really programmed in in proper C++. Um, we'll get into that if people want some other time. But that's just the nature of my career. Hmm. What's that now? Five. So after Java, it was. Um, and we and these aren't sequential. These were kind of in waves. Um, PHP. And then um, somewhere around here was Python. Then I spent a crazy year learning Ruby. A crazy job learning Ruby, and then um, what did I do after that? Um, yeah, I came to where I'm at today, which was primarily um, back to Python, back to Java, but then yeah, Node.js. That's what I'm doing now. Just JavaScript, and I, I've had JavaScript probably when I was doing PHP, Python, um, and Java. Um, I was introduced to, to JavaScript, but back then it was primarily client-side on the browser. Um, so I, I like to put down Node.js signals that it's server-side. Um, and now I'm going to add uh, Swift to that um, madness. Um, so let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, yeah, 10 computer languages. and. Um, I mean, I don't even know if people would count things like Unix and um, Bash, uh, Shell, Awk, those kinds of utilities, which are their own kind of weird, bizarre languages, tiny languages. But anyway, I've digressed. Uh, we now know how to print, so let's print that. Um, it took... So not too much more for me tonight, but but here the number is. Yeah, let's see. Let's now it's looking like uh, what? Let's see.
so. Wait a minute. Um, the first error is line 21. Oh, well, I got that. Now, yeah, let's see if that fixes things. Now, again, uh, a couple of episodes ago, I. Episodes. <laughs> a couple of. Uh, the, the, two, the very first one I talked about how I'm, I'm trying to program like I did when I was a kid and, um, and certainly this loop yeah here it's saying it does not have it and here it also expects this comma operator so also in line 21 so that I, I, am I messing this up Clear the screen. Let's let's get a fresh game going. Guess my number. Oh, and I gotta print out the guess. I think I might um, put here, like print, like question mark. But anyway, um, forty. Oh, and I, yeah. So let's keep going. Uh, So, um, I was trying to figure out if there's like a mathematical proof, like what's the minimum that you could, that you would need to do it in this way, in this binary fashion, cutting things in half, one by, um, little by little. Um, it's probably like a log, it's got a log in it or something, but anyway, um, so that's the game, but, um, this is lower, is higher, business is, um, yeah, kind of, uh, I kind of don't want to have that. Um, I want to do it maybe after five guesses, it's going to start prompting. So like, um, basically to do that, it would be, um, I think we would say if the number is less than else, if uh, guess count is greater than five, this is, we probably don't want this. Um, this is the last bit, and then we'll sign off. We'll do the Git stuff tomorrow. And I also wanted to run through the debugger, but we'll, we'll do all that some other time. Um, I think I want to do it like this, else if, else if, guess count is greater than five, then do this. Um, just if something like that. Uh, let's see if these prompts work. I also added the prompt. Single quote literal found use question mark. Use quote. Um, I bet you also it's gonna I bet you it's also gonna print a new line. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's solve that right now. Um, forty eight. Um, also, this pluralization of a, of a guess count of one, that also will bother me, but that's what happens when you're trying to polish something, but I'm not gonna, let's just acknowledge that it's a little bothersome, but it bothers me more that there's a new line after the print. So now I wanna do 
print a new line. Let's see if it says anything. Print that strings and characters. Oh, I just clicked into it. I wanted to keep this up. Maybe we'll we'll keep that up and running. Uh, yeah. Print um, string interpolation. Yeah. I'm, uh, oh, right, I can go here and do, yeah, print new line. Let's see. Boy, oh boy, these are, these search results, these search results are, uh, <laughs> So that's that's going to be for another another day. Let's uh let's play the game one more time, and um, I'll start making the to do list. But let's see, it's twenty, no, forty, no, eighty, eighty two, eighty three, eighty forty seven. Okay, it's higher. Thank you. Um, forty twenty five, um, sixty three. Uh, 84, uh, 93, uh, are you kidding me? Okay, so thanks for uh, watching this thing, um, keep going, uh, oh, we'll make a to-do list here, um, for the next time.